Welcome back to the channel, fam. We got a family day, family afternoon going on right now. Are we taking bear or no? No bear? Yes bear? What do you say, bud? I don't think he cares. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. It did just rain a bunch. So what we're going to be doing today is we've got to head over to my parents' property. We don't have to, but it'd be fun to go do this. I need to catch up on some bush hogging over there because, well, I think they're done logging over there. And last time I was over there, the food plots were a little bit overgrown. And I just wanted to take the bush hog through, try to level those back down a little bit. But it did rain a bunch today for, what, an hour? Probably an hour, it rained really heavy, but I don't think it was so bad that we won't be able to bush hog because it was really heavy, but it was only an hour. It's not like it rained for a day straight and everything's gonna be a complete swamp. We'll find out when we get there, but uh, that's gonna be the plan. The only problem I see with taking bear, babe, is the river could be a little bit high and then I don't know how we get him across. You know? He's a retriever, he's supposed to swim. I know, he's supposed to be able to swim, but then we gotta take it back in the Cadillac. Kennel bear. <laughs> Check another dog bone in there. Never have too many dog bones, I guess. About ready to go. This is gonna be different. This is gonna be my first time doing lawn maintenance slash lawn care, having little man with us. Let me just tell you guys, from a perspective of a new father, life is very, very different. I mean, that should sound like a pretty obvious statement. Like, duh, life's gonna be different. There's another person you have to tend to, but like, it's really different. Like, I can't just like get up and be like, yo, I've got a jet, I've got stuff to do. It's more like, what can I do to help you out so that you have time to now sleep shower, do other house stuff that she does and just her own work and stuff like that too. So now it's, since we both work at home and it's not like she can just like take days off and collect unemployment or like vacation pay or I don't know how having the normal job stuff works. But like if she doesn't work and I don't work, we don't get paid. We can't just like file for that kind of stuff and get paid at least something when we're not working. If we don't work, we don't make anything. That's the way it should be. But anyway, so it's just more complicated, more stuff going on. Looks like they were planning on uh, mowing down the hay today for their second cutting, but I mean, it poured rain, so I'm guessing they got the tractor over here, they thought about it, and then it started pouring rain, so they were like, eh, never mind. Kind of hard to mow hay when you've got mud in the field. Well, we're here. Everything's all hooked up, we're ready to go. The question is, is he ready to go? It's gonna be his first tractor ride. Yeah, it's a little sunny. Are you excited for him? Yeah. <laughs> At least you've got the right hat on, right? This is babegear.com. Mm -hmm. You're giving away a Duramax or something like that? I don't know, she does She does cool stuff. We're gonna go over to uh, get on the tractor and get mowing. So far, so good. I mean, it's kind of crammed on this tractor here, but we're fitting. Here's another update on the corn and beans. Showed it to you guys a few days ago. I mean, not really, not a whole lot has changed since then, but corn's looking really good over here. The beans are looking really good over here, too, compared to the other spot. A lot of grass is growing in it, but most of the grass is growing in it or nothing too crazy, like invasive, nothing like weedy, like thistles and stuff, really. It's mostly just like little, little grasses. So, I mean, it's, uh, so overall, it's looking really, really good. Probably gonna start off by mowing down this strip right here to divide the beans from the alfalfa. There's like a two, maybe three bush hog width strip right here. And then we're gonna bush hog over there. And then we're gonna get down across the river there and uh, get over to that clover food plot. Number two is done, which is right behind us. Mowed down everything except for the clover and chicory plot right along the edge over there. Now we gotta cross the river and uh, get to this other food plot, and then we're gonna go show you guys some of the logging back of the back of the property. Decent amount of bush hogging done. Nothing crazy, but good amount. Good first uh, run for Marshall to get used to the feel of the tractor, right? Yeah. Just making it work. 
having a good time. We're actually back here at the back of the property. I wanted to show this to Reagan because I haven't been over here since they stopped logging and they got everything done and they're done now. So I thought I would come back here with her and with Marshall and show her what it looks like back here now. And I should have done a before video of this so you guys could see the difference, but from being like fairly open, big mature trees to like logged. So let's go check it out. Last time I was back in here was about three weeks ago. So you remember what it looked like, right? What do you think? What's your reaction? <laughs> it looks different. You think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. It's all skinny trees now. Oh, it's, it's crazy. But like I said, the way that they log this, it looks really, really bad. Like in terms of the, like they took a lot of stuff. But the reason they did it is for this stuff. He's starting to wake up finally because the tractor stopped running. You got all these big straight trees that are going to finally have an opportunity to blossom up into something mature. Kind of like this tree versus staying like this smaller size for years and years and years and having their growth basically stunted because they don't get all the sunlight that they need and it just kind of kills everything out. They took out a lot of the, the real, real big trees. And let me show you the base of some of these just so you can kind of get an idea of like what they took out and why they took it out. And none of this stuff was like mega monster trees, but most of them were, most of them were pretty big that they took. Like, look at this one spot, okay? Because of how big this tree was and it shaded out everything around it. Look how big this freaking stump is. It might not look that big to you through the video, but that was a pretty big tree. I mean, that was a really big tree. And uh, that's mostly what they took. So like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of this stuff all the way back through here, but that's what they did was, they took out some of the monsters so that all these trees that are like, you know, 20 inches in diameter, like anything smaller than that, they pretty much left it. So, I don't know. I feel like it's a good move. I mean, when we talk to the guys, like even like this tree, might be about a 20 or just under, but like trees like that, like if it wasn't bigger than this, they weren't, they weren't taking it. That's why there's so many nice straight trees that are gonna have a ton of potential in the near future. There's another one that's like about a 20, give or take. But uh, nice big straight trees that are now going to have a chance. Look how small the crowns are on some of those. It's better for the environment, let's just say that. We just got a phone call from the attorney informing us that we now have a winner for the 2015 Six Speed Cummins plus $5,000. So we're going to hop in the truck and give him a call while we still have some kind of daylight and get his reaction. Hopefully we have some uh, lighting in the cab with this tin. Give him a call here and... See if we can't uh, get him on the phone here. I did text him and ask him if it was a good time. Other than that, I have not talked to him on the phone. His name is Adam. Hey. What's going on? Is this Adam? Yes. Yeah. How you doing, man? Not too good. Doing great. You want a truck today? How's that yeah, feel? That's what I do. <laughs> um, in shock. In shock. Well, that's good, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a really good thing. I've got to ask you some questions here just because this is always very intriguing to me. How did you come about us? Did you find us through like Instagram, through Facebook, through watching the YouTube videos? Through Facebook, I just kind of scrolling through Facebook one day and all kind of popped up with like diesel trucks. So I clicked on the page and <clears throat> just kind of looked, looked through it a little bit and it kind of intrigued me. So I'm like, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I kind of started watching some of your YouTube videos and like that. We've been doing this now for, you know, three years, but most of the time that we've been doing it, it used to be just like just on our YouTube page. And so then what okay. we started doing was, you know, doing Facebook ads and stuff too, because I'm like, I really want to find a way to reach more people because like when you're only making the YouTube videos, only your YouTube fans are going to know about it. You know what I mean? That's kind of what led us to start doing the Facebook ad thing, which I guess uh, worked out in your favor this time, <laughs> being able to see it and get entered. I'm sitting in the truck right now. It's a, uh, it's a pretty awesome truck. Yeah, I mean, just everything you've done to it. Going down to like the leather interior and stuff like that. I mean, it's definitely like one of a kind. If you had to pick your favorite thing about this truck, what would be your favorite aspect about the truck? It's a regular cab and you don't see many of them anymore. We don't see many regular cab trucks anymore. It's definitely do not see that many. I mean, you know, pickup trucks out there. Kind of a dying breed. Not many people want them anymore. I don't know how to people even them anymore. That was Adam from Wisconsin. We had one winner from Wisconsin before, not the same part of Wisconsin, but who won our gas Chevy truck 
way back when we did like a one week or two week giveaway for a Chevy truck way back that we kind of did like a budget build. He was not a fan of the channel necessarily long term. I think he was somebody who found us through Facebook or Instagram is what he said. And then basically once he saw our page, he started watching the videos. He started learning more about us and what we do. He went through and watched the whole playlist on this truck because of course he entered to win this truck. And he's like, dude, the six speed, the regular cab, like the leather interior, the navigation, like the combination was just too cool. And I thought, man, I would love to win this truck. There it is, he won. It might not be the next video. It might be the next video or two, I'm not sure, but we might be picking up a new truck. So here's where we're at in terms of the next truck. I wanna try to do something that we haven't done in a long time, but it's essentially where you guys get to build the truck that we buy. For example, I'm looking at three different trucks right now. Two of them are third gens, one of them is a Duramax. One's an LB7 Duramax, it has the injectors, they've already been replacing all this other stuff. It's a crew cab, black, it's a it's really, really good looking truck. It's a Chevy, not a GMC, but it's a Chevy. LB7 Duramax, okay? Truck's in really good shape. It's got like one little spot of rust that we'll have fixed. But other than that, it's it's really, really clean overall. Or I'm looking at a Mega Cab 3rd Gen. It's a Mega Cab 3rd Gen, it's bone stock. Truck came from Oklahoma, but it's been here in Indiana now for three years. So it's got like, a, again, it's got a couple little teeny tiny bubbles on like one of the back fenders or something, but that's it. It would be in and out of the paint booth and fixed in a day. Like it's literally just teeny tiny paint bubbles in one spot. Also looking at a regular cab, 6.7 Cummins, third gen. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, but the Mega Cab was a 5.9, it was an 0.759. This is an 0.767, and it's a regular cab, long bed, SLT trim truck. The truck's only got 100,000 miles on it. The other two have more than 100,000 on them, but this one's got literally just 100,000 miles on it. Has no rust anywhere. Overall though, that truck is like probably the cleanest out of those three, um, but it's a regular cab again, like this truck, but it's a third gen regular cab, so it's something we haven't done yet. The LB7 Duramax, it's got a big lift on it, big wheels and tires, like it's it's all done up and it, and it looks really good, but it's all done up. The other two, are more on the stock side of things. Like they have an exhaust, they both have built transmissions. They're automatics though, which is something we have done in a long time. Both like deleted and tuned. The 5.9 obviously didn't really have any emissions on it, the Mega Cab one, but it is straight piped with tunes and stuff. In terms of tuning, it's all on stock power. So it's like stock injectors and stock everything else. Basically just like tune the factory power from the truck. So what do you guys wanna see? Which one would you rather see? Whichever truck we pick, what we're gonna be doing is basically picking this truck each day, cause we're gonna be doing the vlogs every single day, Monday through Friday, and then just weekends are gonna be off. But then we're basically going to let you guys pick interior, suspension, the wheels, what style tires, what headlights, what grill, what tail lights, what, you know, just basically everything. What you guys want done to the truck so that it fits your taste and hopefully most of you end up getting the opportunity to enter to win a truck that you spec'd out or you at least had some kind of a vote in specking out to meet your needs and what you want or just like your dream setup, you know, whatever that is. Let me know down in the comment section below. Regular cab, six, seven Cummins, deleted and tuned with a built transmission. 2007, five, nine mega cab Cummins with a built transmission or a 2002 LB7 Duramax. Crew cab, Chevy, what would you guys rather see? Keep in mind all that information and let me know what you guys wanna see down in the comment section below. So stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thank you so much to everybody who entered to win this car. We will have a giveaway winner for you in approximately seven to 14 days. Usually it's closer to the seven day mark. We will get you guys a winner for that car as well. So stay tuned, cross your fingers, say your prayers. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.